Hi to all, welcome to this new tutorial on IXQ410. Today we will talk about a new feature, a new module, sorry, called Advanced Remesher. To show you this tool, let's start making a simple model. So I will create a new layer and call it my CAD layer and activate it. We can now go into the CAD tools and start drawing. I will create a, a box by corners and I will click here 0, 0 as the starting point and then O for relative 12, 8 meters so my base is 12 meters by 8 meters and the height, its input height of 8 meters so just, just a box I will select the box and change color here to blue so we see it better. Be aware that we are using release 2.2.2. So you must have this release here to use the features that I am showing right now. Okay, I want to model the roof of this. Let's say that this is a something that we want to cover. And uh, there's a new option here, Auto UCS Mode. I will activate this Auto UCS Mode. This is a modeling tool, so it's not really related to tensile structures, but to the modeling environment. And uh, I will draw now uh, an arch by start, end, and on. The initial point, you see, as I move over the, this, this box, the face is all highlighted, and that means that I am going to draw directly on the face. This is what Auto UCS mode uh, enables. So I will start uh, at the midpoint here, the midpoint here, and I will draw an arch over the face. Since Auto UCS mode is active, this face has been split in two parts. Escape key to delete the command. I will click now on this face and just drag it to, s to model my box with this arch. Okay. We can now take off Auto UCS mode. We have this box. I will use now the tool Explode so we can have access to all the faces of the box like this. That's done. We are finished with the modeling tools. Let's make a new layer and we will call the layer membrane. We activate the membrane layer and we recall here a new group and we create a new tensor group. So we activate also the newly created tensor group. So you see the tensor group is active. We want to create a mesh over this surface into the tensor group number one. So we select the surface and we go into the FEM tools. Here we have the tool Tessellate, we have used it quite often this tool. And beside there's another options, but we'll use here you see the edge length two meters and aspect one and we click OK we have created mesh like this. I will delete this uh, surface. Deleting the surface, it's clear how the mesh is uh, upside down. We see the transparent part of the mesh. So we can easily fix this by double click on the mesh. In the FEM tools, we will use the option flip orientation. So our mesh now has been flipped in the correct direction. Okay, we have the mesh but we do not have the edges. We need the edges of this mesh. We can use the tool Boundary Mesh. Boundary Mesh using a, a deviation of 30 degrees will detect the four corner points. You see here there are four dots in the four corner points. This means that one edge will be created from point to point. So just click on the apply. A new group has been created with four chains. If I double click on these, we can see the edges of this mesh highlighted. 
we have the edges let's turn these edges into beam elements linear behavior we want them fixed and uh, any profile is okay fixed means I'm not interested in this moment in the structural behavior of the edges I just want to keep the membrane fixed it over those edges double click on the mesh remember that we are NFDM method so we're using the natural force density method this means that we apply directly on the mesh the properties so we say that the warp stress one kilonewton per meter the weft one kilonewton per meter and the membrane type you can use this one deformability is form find deformable yes we want to find the shape of this mesh the last thing that we need to set is the warp and the weft orientation of the mesh but we, we can leave it just as it is the warp is the x direction so right click on the mesh warp weft mapping set warp weft ori orientation and the x z plane is the warp plane so this plane here will cut the mesh in the warp direction just click on ok basically we're ready i will save now this model and we can run the form finder we will use only one step in the form finding process and that's it we have found the shape first of all look that we have created in this direction we have only basically three internal points so the mesh is quite uh, jaggy if we look at the membrane stresses we want to see the sigma 1 stresses remember to hide the mesh when looking at the stresses well the stresses are quite nice in any case we have 1.088 up to 1.010 so basically this is a minimal surface but the surface is quite jaggy and hide the mesh now we are going to use the remesh tool the remesh tool is this tool here in fem tools create remesh the remesh is not undoable so all the loads on the membrane will be lost in this release so be aware be aware uh, you lose any loads applied on the mesh the tool now is asking us the size of the new mesh we want to mesh one meter by one meter just click on ok and you see that the surface has been remeshed with a mesh of one meter by one meter we can recall it again 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 so we want to mesh 50 centimeters and this is my new mesh this seems a nice mesh of course we need to relax it again that's it and if we go now into the plots we look at the stresses again well it's clear how the stresses are nearly one to one kilonewtons per square meter the stress distribution is getting more accurate but what's nice is that we can we have created a nice mesh over an initial very very ugly one I will start a new project always using the natural first density method I will make a flat mesh just to show again this tool it happens quite often that we have to make a mesh like this A mesh where the number of sides is the number of sides is um, uneven so this modeling problem comes quite often this mesh now is very very ugly since we have this kink point here that will generate a concentration of stresses we can use now the tool remesh using a 0 0.5 0 0.5 and we come out with a very very nice mesh for uh, form finding if we now change the height of these points four meters 
and we fix them okay maybe we'll delete this chain here okay and we run the form finder so you see we have made a very nice membrane out of that initial ugly mesh even this mesh is quite um, quite ugly here so we can use again the remesh tool 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 and again those edges have been closed and running the form finder again we get out this very very nice mesh with very fast and very very accurate let's plot the stresses that's it so that's all thanks for watching